Hey, how is everyone? Hope you're keeping well. Sun's out. Should be just about, well, I should be already on the Isle of Man, but uh, hey, it's not happening this year. So uh, we're going to do some more workshop tours. So today I'm going to show you something else. So uh, let's go and have a little wander in, shall we? What glorious weather we've got at the minute. The workshop's an absolute mess still because we've got loads going on. You might have seen already, we've got uh, PHR Performance has been launched. So we're building bikes for people, been building engines for people, track dayers uh, and racers alike. You know, we've even got a couple of TT bikes we're building for people. So it's uh, it's been pretty cool. New, exciting things. Really happy with that so far. I've even got myself a microphone lot. I'm getting more professional with these workshop tours now. Um, so this bike I rode in 2016. It's another of the Trooper bikes. It was the second one. Um, and it was while I was with uh, the official uh, Kawasaki team in 2016. So GB Moto Racing was who I rode for, which was JG Speedfit Kawasaki at the time. Now they didn't want to do a 600, so uh, I actually built my own. So I'm going to show you it now. I'm going to spin it round. You ready? Da da da. There she is. So ZX6 2016. Um, I say the team didn't. Uh, the team weren't particularly interested in doing the 600 class. Uh, but they were quite happy for me to do my own thing. So because I had the Trooper sponsorship already, uh, I went to Trooper again and was like, look, we're going to do something slightly different to the MV. We're going to get a Kawasaki because I'm with the official team. Uh, Kawasaki UK were, were really helpful. Obviously gave me a deal on the bike, which is really good. And this is actually the first bike that personally I actually bought myself. So obviously I got sponsorship involved. And Chris Walker actually, as you can see on the tank, um, with his shop helped out quite a bit as well with a few parts and spare wheels and things that I could borrow rather than have to buy. Um, so yeah, it was the first bike, and it is the first bike that I ever purchased myself with my own money uh, and built into a race bike that I then raced. So um, this bike went to the Northwest 200, uh, went to the Isle of Man TT, and then also went to the Ulster Grand Prix. And in fact, as it sits here right now, on this beautiful stand that I had made, which actually I'm going to show you the stand. You just have a little look under here. Look, it's got boat valves um, or valves out of a boat engine. Uh, that's what's uh, that's what it's sitting on. I got uh, extreme chainsaw Simon. Um, it was a good mate of mine. He uh, he made it for me. It's a nice piece of walnut wood that I wanted it on a nice display. Seems though I bought it myself. Hey, but yeah, this is the the first time we went for the full black silver and a bit of gold. Um, with the Trooper sponsorship. There's Eddie on the side. The original Eddie, that's the same Eddie that they've had from the 1970s. Um, he's been updated since, actually, since 2017, I think, the year after this. Um, there's loads of little bits on here that are pretty much one-off. Um, like these, uh, the footrest hangers here, they're made by a company just up the road called MK Motorsport, but they were done to, to our spec, so um, there, there was a set on this and a spare set, and that's all there was. Um, so there's not uh, there's not many of them about. There's a few little things on here that's quite trick. Uh, I ran the Bichubo suspension that year, which comes through Steve Hicken, who's part of Hawk Racing, his dad, uh, Stuart. Uh, this is on the tank. This is what everyone was going on about at the time. Uh, I actually stickered all this bike. Um, myself, I was up for hours. In fact, Gareth Dalton, who was the truck driver, helped me quite a bit as well. Stickering, we did, we did loads and all the boards and things as well. But yeah, it's, a, it's an awesome bike, this. I really enjoyed riding it. This uh, Acropovic uh, exhaust system that we've got here as well sounds unbelievable. Have a listen to this. <laughs>
awesome note from this bike is coming from this exhaust. Now this exhaust was developed and designed for Keenan Safoglu uh, in the World Supersport Championship at the time and it's not actually something you can buy because um, it was a development exhaust but because we were the official uh, I was riding for the official Kawasaki team they allowed us to be able to have one so um, that's why she sounds proper crisp when you have a good listen to her. So yeah, that's uh, some nice footage from the, from the TT just there. And she's, as I say, this is as she finished the uh, the Ulster Grand Prix at the time. Only ran on the kit, kit loom and kit ECU, so standard dash. Obviously with the Super Sport, you've got to run standard yokes and forks and things. You can put the uh, internals in and we can run whatever uh, shock you want to run. But the main main part of the bike is uh, is fairly stock. You can see the big stone chip on the front there. Luckily, that hit the bike and not me. And say that's from the Ulster Grand Prix as she finished finished on the podium. Actually, so the last race she ever did. So the first race she ever did, I finished on the podium at the Northwest, and then the last race that she did, which was at the Ulster Grand Prix, she finished on the podium again. So uh, it's got some nice memories with it as well. I think I finished. I didn't do that well on it at the TT. It was only my second year on a, on a super sport bike. I had a problem with it, unfortunately, in the first race. But in the second race, I think I finished eighth, somewhere around there. And I was still learning how to ride a 600, really, more than anything. But uh, really nice bike to ride. Handles really well, sounds awesome, as you've heard already. And uh, yeah, holds a nice little place in my heart because it's the first bike that I bought, paid for everything uh, out of my own pocket. So, um, so there you go. Hope you enjoyed that one. I'll do some more soon. And uh, sorry it's taken a while to get this one out. I've just been flat out with everything going on. But like I say, um, PHR Performance is now up and running. So if you want your engines refreshing or building, then we can do that in-house in here. And also bikes. We're actually building a couple of bikes right from scratch, uh, from a road bike to a race bike. It's all possible here at PHR. So uh, yeah, check that out. Have a look at the websites and stuff as well. There's ptinkman.net and there's also ptinkmanmerchandise.com. Got some new merchandise coming in the next couple of weeks, so have a look. Hope to see you all soon. Stay safe. Keep washing them hands, yeah? See ya.